Hello everybody, it's me Sam from Game Torrent for Gaming, and today we're showing you the plugin called Useful Villages by some random game dev and that is his actual username, I'm not <laughs> just saying that. So Dan, what does this plugin do? Well this plugin allows you to give items to villagers and we've created a set of pens here which will uh, hold our villagers that we're going to transform in a minute and you can give them items and it will transform them into their uh, respective profession. Now normally when you find villagers or use a spawn egg it will randomly assign them a profession such as farmer, blacksmith, etc etc. But this plugin allows you to, as I said, assign them yourself and then they carry out the tasks, which is very handy. Right, so the first one I'm gonna do is the farmer. So what you need to right click with the farmer is wheat. Indeed. So if you'd like to do that. So we we've pre prepared all the chests and everything. So if we right click the uh the villager with some wheat we we'll say the villager is now a farmer, as you see he's, uh, his skin will change. And at the moment he's not going to do anything, he's just going to stand there. And if we um, get a stick, there is one, and we right click him, uh, he says I'm the farmer. So we can do a, a few things with the farmer. Uh, you can either give him a diamond hoe, a di well not a diamond hoe, any hoe will work, a diamond axe or some seeds. So uh, let's give him a hoe. And if you right click he will take your item and with that hoe he will start tilling the land around him so if I get some seeds out and then right click him let's give him about 14 he should start tilling the land when he touches the grass again do you want to give yeah. him a nudge? <laughs> push him off his chest there you, there go. you go so one thing to know it will only till and seed uh, mark land and to mark a land all you need to do is place gravel underneath the dirt like we've done here and it will uh, plant wheat above it. Uh, if you put brick above it then it will plant melons and if it's stone brick then it will be um, pumpkins and then sandstone is for melons as well. So we can plant all those things as well. I can also give him a an axe and if we just... oh now I can't do this. There's a middle then. <laughs> right and he will cut, chop down birch trees when he gets near it, uh, provided they are marked. You may have to give him another little nudge again. I might have to nudge <laughs> over there. So they, they would walk, normally walk around. That looks incredibly weird. <laughs> yeah, wasting planting stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to the farm and see. We'll come back to him and see yeah. how he does later, yeah. Right, okay, so, so the next one. Now this is the, the book or the librarian. The librarian. So if we right click him with a book, it will turn him into a librarian and change his skin respectively. Uh, now what the librarian can do is if you give him a load of is it sugar canes, I think? Yeah, he will um, hey. he will go to this crafting bench and he will slowly make you books out of the sugar canes, which is handy. So I'd like to give him some sugar cane. Give him some and then let's leave him in the chest just to show he does take them out. So he'll get working, he'll put the uh reeds and then put them into books. Um, also one thing you can do with this is give him interesting items. So I'm going to give him some blaze powder. If you just right click him with an interesting item, he'll tell you that he's studying it and it will take him a while to study the item and then when he's done he'll give you experience um, for studying it. It takes a while and you just right click him to see how long um, he's got left. So, so I, we'll think, I think we'll come back to him. Has he, has he taken the reads yet? Not yet. So oh, yeah. It takes a while, that's one thing. Indeed. Right, the next one is the blacksmith. So to make a blacksmith, all you do is right click him with a iron ingot. He's now a blacksmith. Right, okay. And what he'll do is he'll take stuff from uh, this chest here, which is gold ore and coal. He'll place it in a furnace and he'll begin smelting it into bars and stuff. Basically, transfers things from the chest into the furnace and vice versa. You can also give him some pickaxes and level him up in his mining. So, if we right click him with a gold pickaxe, it says let's mine, and he will start mining the ground underneath him and he'll search for ores, etc., and it will place it in the chest over there. And uh, as see. you can see, the furnace has lit up, uh, and it's going to start smelting all yeah. said items. I see. And he'll begin to get the iron ingots. Indeed. Or gold ingots. And as you can see, I just handed him a stone pickaxe and a iron pickaxe. 
Okay, we said you said pickaxes to mine underneath him, which is awesome, and the contents will be put in this chest. It is quite handy, so we'll come back to that one as well. And uh, the only problem with this play and they will take a while, so that's the only thing. We can't really show you how quickly. Indeed. Alright, anyway, so moving on, the next one is a butcher. butcher. Indeed. So if we right click him with some leather, oh he's running about. That will turn him into the butcher. And I think currently the only thing the butcher can do is uh, shear sheep. So if we give him some shears by right clicking him and spawn a sheep. In time he should shear the sheep for us. So is he, is he going to? He did it near instantly when we were uh, practicing yeah. this. Trust him to... Uh, oh there, there you go. go. So um, when you right click him for the stick he'll say he has something in his inventory I think. I haven't actually yeah, done that. He has some wool to deposit. So he when he gets near the chest, he should hopefully deposit the wool in the chest. And this is actually a really useful way just to farm wool because if you keep them like enclosed, neither the sheep or the vigil will, will die. And so it's it's like a continuous uh, wool farm. Yeah, just, make sure you've got slow. plenty of grass. <laughs> yeah. So that's nice. Indeed. And finally, we have the last villager. The priest, which is transformed via glass bottle. Indeed. And the priest can heal and defend the villages and players as well. So to heal the players, you need to give him glowstone dust. And Sam, if you just want to hit me a few times, slowly lose health. And as you can see, the priest is healing me. Fantastic. Fantastic. And now, if you also give him a blaze rod. He will set fire to nearby mobs, uh, creepers, spiders, skeletons, and zombies. So, if I spawn a spider, uh, add spiders, I think. No, Where is it? Yeah. You got one. There you ah, go. There you Sets go. up fire. Very nice. Every now and again. <laughs> it's not very so, powerful, but, you know. Yeah. It'll do. We want iron golems really to defend them. Indeed. Alright, and move talking about iron golems. The last one. Is in fact an iron golem, so let's time light it. Now, what you can do with iron golems is you give them torches and they'll place them around in dark places to light up the area. So, if that's a. So, if I right click the iron golem with my torches, he will place it somewhere in his pen because this is uh, not lighted by anything. So, um, in, in theory, the golem will actually place torches, but after spending a long time in the night waiting for him to place one, um, he didn't. Probably because we had the furnace one over there. Should we blast no, no, we'll do it, we'll do it. Take, take, take a look at the other ones. Okay. See how they're doing. As you can see, the uh, the farmer hasn't chopped down the tree yet. He might still be working on it. But, um, he's put a load of seeds everywhere and he's trampling when he's walking around, which is very nice. Well check the chest. Uh, the librarian has taken the reeds and he's turned them into 17 and 19 books. I don't know why I treated them individually. <laughs> Uh, if we go over to the blacksmith, he's dug up one bit of dirt and he's transferred 32 gold ingots from the, uh, the furnace, which is awesome. And mm. over here, yeah, we have three wall. bits of wool. And the priest is just chilling with the spider in his pen, which is awesome. Alright, let's give us another go then. Mm. Right. This time it'll work, don't trust me, it'll work. Yeah, hey, yeah, there yeah. we go. And as you see, I right clicked the golem and I wasn't looking at blocks, so I didn't place it myself. But the golem will place torches if you give it to him in a dark yeah. area. He'll just walk around, beating Indeed. stuff up, placing torches as you do. <laughs> Very nice. Anyway, so uh, that's this plugin. Indeed, I I think this is a very uh, quite. It's not. I wouldn't say it's an amazingly unique, but it's it's, it's different. If you know what I mean. Oh, Sam, it, it zombies, does, Sam, and, uh, Sam, zombies, zombies. Kill that zombie. Uh, I got. I got. I'm gone. <laughs> No, it does add a new little feature to villagers, like, because the only thing I have about villagers, like, I don't like, is they randomly spawn professions, so the fact you can change it willingly is awesome. You can have, like, a massive army of farmers. Yeah. I actually have to provide an actual use for them. <laughs> Indeed. Rather than just trading with them. I do believe they do seem to trade things, so, like, the villager, the, li the librarian trade bookcases, and, uh, what not. Ah, the librarian still has 28 pages to browse in the library before he's finished with the blaze powder. So It'll give you some experience when that's done. He's going to take ages. So yeah, yeah. I think, think that's it. Okay then, thanks for watching. This has been me, Sam here on Tower of Group Gaming. Signing out. See you later, guys.